Hello everybody and welcome to Totally Trendy. My name is Samantha and this is a channel where I attempt and explore all the fun things that the internet has to offer. Oh, also for all of you who watch this channel frequently, yes, I'm wearing my glasses. It is because I woke up late this morning. <laughs> It happens, but I'm here now and we are about to have a lot of fun because the challenge slash trend that we are exploring today is one that you guys have most likely seen at least one video of from all of your favorite YouTubers. The I threw a dart at a map and blank challenge, that theme. Today I'm putting a DIY twist on this challenge. So if you're wondering why there's a map of the United States behind me with weird things on it, that's why. So I am gonna be throwing a dart at this map and doing the DIY that the dart lands on. I have all of these little items represent a DIY that I found on the internet. Some of them I wanna do and some of them I do not want to do. Let's take a closer look at them. So here, pretty self-explanatory, we have slime. Slime, good. Fun time for everyone. That's the one that I'm going to be aiming for. Now this. <laughs> this is a cloud lamp. I saw this cloud lamp on Pinterest first and then I saw Laura DIY did a video where she made this like hanging cloud lamp light fixture thing and so hopefully if I land on that one I can like watch her video to help guide me along in the process but that one seems really hard and I don't really want to do that one and then we have this hot glue one which means I'm gonna do the five minute crafts hot glue phone case DIY which is disclaimer not fun it's so tedious and it doesn't look good, but we'll see. Maybe I'll be surprised by it. And this over here, if you can't tell, is a hula hoop. Now that one is one that I feel kind of mediocre about, but I'll explain what that means if I land on it. I'm standing behind the camera now. I have my little dart in hand ready to go. I don't think this is going to make a hole in the wall. Hopefully not. So I'm aiming for slime because I think that's going to be the most fun for all of us. But let's see. Okay. Well, now I gotta tell you what the hula hoop means. Wow, almost on the hula hoop itself. That DIY is actually some pretty cool DIY wall decor. This actually could be really useful because I need some wall decor. What people do with this is they take a hula hoop, they wrap it in rope or a ribbon or whatever, make it a nice circle, and then some people put string in the center to hang photos, like little Polaroids. So I think it could be pretty cool. It's gonna involve a little bit of hot glue. We'll see how easy this ends up being. Maybe this is a good DIY that the dart chose for us. So I've already started wrapping this like kind of goldish twine around the hula hoop. This was a kid's hula hoop that I got off of Amazon, but I'm just gonna keep continuing to like put little pieces of hot glue and wrap it around like so, so we can get like a nice, a nice circular frame. took way longer than I thought, so kind of regretting the fact that the dart landed on this DIY, but can't control that. I burned my finger because like I was putting hot glue on the hula hoop, then I would wrap a section, put more hot glue. I was in the middle of putting a blob of hot glue on, then a spider out of nowhere crawled across the hot glue gun. All the glue that was freshly hot smeared across my finger, so. So I fully wrapped it, and now it's like this cute little twine moment, and just tied the string across here. Because you can do a lot of different things with this. You can either like clip photos here, or try and like put words across it like a welcome sign. But I think right now, I'm just gonna do two layers of the string. And then we'll decorate it and make it more pretty and fun. So now that I have the strings attached, it's just time to like hang some cute little things and put like a message right here. I think I'm gonna like hang some little photos and things there, but then put like, I don't know, just a nice little message on this guy. I have added cute little words on it. I realized I only had like one Polaroid to put on it, so it looks kind of bare right now. But like, this has so much potential to be really cute. Here we have Rose and Woods looking very annoyed. And then just a cute little be kind moment up there. This is where I would hang something else if I had something to hang. The dart kind of came in clutch with this one. I think it's pretty cute. We're gonna wait to hang it for like a really pretty nice reveal until the end because I was about to hang it and then realized I still need to throw another dart. So it is time for me to find my next DIY. We still have slime, we still have the hot glue gun phone case from 5 Minute Crafts, and the cloud lamp. <laughs> 
Got my little dart, we're ready. I wanna aim for the slime. Both the cloud and the hot glue gun involve hot glue guns, so <laughs> don't know if I'm ready for those. But let's see what our next project is. Oh no, I hit the cloud. Like, I'm kind of happy with like the dart skill of that. If this was a normal target, I feel like that'd be pretty good. But um, not so happy that it didn't hit slime. Here are some really cool photos of this cloud lamp thing. Cool. Now you know what it looks like. The way that I really think this is gonna be the best of DIY is to cover these little lanterns with fluff. Polyfill and then stuff the lanterns with lights, hang it by fishing wire so it looks invisible. So that's kind of the gist of what we're gonna do for this DIY. <laughs> oh man. But guess how we're gonna attach the fluff to the lanterns? Hot glue, slowly turning into the bane of my existence. We're just gonna do it. So here we go. I have the two lanterns here. I got a pack of 10, but I really think two is gonna be enough. But so first we're gonna glue these together so they kind of like stick together. I feel like they're stuck together enough for me to go ahead and start applying the fluff. Now I'm just gonna start in like small chunks, I think, and then go for it. Uh, I don't know. What I'm doing to kind of like reduce the chance of me burning myself and also make this probably stick better to the paper lantern is I'm taking little sheets of paper, putting hot glue on that, then pushing this down on the paper, and then I'm just gonna hot glue the paper to the lantern. Might be an unnecessary step, but I think it's gonna be beneficial in the long run. So let's just start. And here we are. I have finished one side and it's very Heavy. Thankfully, I got some pretty strong fishing wire to like hang this, but guys, like this is going so well. The paper method that I have been telling you guys about is perfect. I am trying to leave a few gaps so light can shine through because I didn't really think about that. I have these little lights that I'm gonna place in them when I hang it. So I wanna make sure that like light still goes through, you know? So I am just going to continue to do what I'm doing on this side. This one is going so well. I was really, really not looking forward to the dart landing on this one because like it seemed so complicated. It is taking a little bit of time, but it's going pretty well. And just like that, I have a cloud. <laughs> Look at it, look at that cloud. I think once I hang it up, I'll kind of floof it a little more and maybe add a couple of other pieces. Now I need to attach the fishing wire, put the lights in and figure out where to hang it. So I just put some little fishing wire through it and I have found the place I'm gonna hang it. This is kind of like almost like the kitchen section of the office for now. And so mini fridge, toaster oven, you guys have all seen all of this, but there's just nothing right here. So it was actually Rose's idea to hang it on like a diagonal fitting in the corner there. So that is what we're gonna do. But before we hang it, I need to turn on these little lights and plop them in. Now I didn't really think about getting like maybe remote controlled lights or anything, but these are supposed to last a really long time. So I'm just gonna turn them on, pop them in, and then hang it. Guys, I cannot believe how cute this looks. There are definitely a few parts that like, I wish I maybe should have put a little bit more or less, but like, it looks so cute. Look at my little cloud. It looks like a cloud. I love that you cannot see how it's hanging. This is so cute. The bottom part is part that I wish maybe I covered a little bit more, but I absolutely adore how it turned out. Like, look at that. That is a light. That's not a real cloud. I just invited Cat and Woods over because I like need them to see this. Okay, here they come. Uh, Guys, I am so excited. Okay. <laughs> oh! What? How that? freaking sick Dude, is that? That's it's so, so cool. good. It turned out so good. How did you? So legit. How'd you get a cloud in here? <laughs> like how? How do you buy a cloud? I, it looks so realistic. That's Wow, dude, this Freaking is really cool. impressive. Thank yeah. you. It turned out so I good. I really, like, really like it. I it's want it. Really well, I, I want, want it one. though, too. You want one? Yeah. Maybe I quit my job and just become a cloud lamp enthusiast. Don't quit your job. <laughs> Don't quit your job. I seriously did not expect to get such cute DIYs from doing this challenge. Leaving these DIYs up to 
fate with the dartboard was uh, a, a little risky, but I'm so glad they turned out so well. Like I, I don't remember the last time I was so like excited about a DIY project that I did. So this little challenge I am in love with. I think it's a fun aspect of like risk, chance, whatever you want to call it, leaving the cards up to fate. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys will try these DIYs that worked out. I know, didn't get to make any slime. I will see you guys in the next video.